Good evening, and welcome back to Tiraborn here with our beavers on the arc. Where we are aiming towards a life of luxury. We have finished our first uh, pen, I suppose is the best way to describe it. And uh, we're trying to pump the water out. It's kind of a bit slowly because we only have so much storage for more water. So we could do with some more water storage, that would be very useful. Um, I did have to put in some more pumps because we did actually struggle for water for a while. I don't think three is enough to keep all the beavers going. But, more importantly, these are a long way from the town centre. See here, the town centre is here, a long, long way away. So I kind of feel like I should move the town centre. It's kind of designed to be here, got a little, a little recess for it to go there. But we can put someone else there, um, I don't know what. We are the folk tales. we might be able to put like a mass storage there or something, I don't know. But, but I feel like moving it down to here makes sense, because then it can access everything up here and it would be nearby to access all these. So, that's what we're going to do. I think that is what we're going to do. We're going to move the town centre down here. And to do that, we are going to pause the game, delete this town centre, and then build a new one. So, poof. Digital centre. Poof. There we go. And we will call this the Ark. There we go. Now that's going to reset all of our beavers. All our beavers are going to be uh, homeless for a moment, and all this, but they will reassign to the nearest town centre automatically. So that should be fine. Uh, I'm hoping. I've never deleted a town centre and had none before. So we'll see. Let's just unpause it and see what happens. Bomb. Boom. Boom, that workers. Bomb, there you go. Okay, so all the beavers got reassigned to here. Beavers will find new houses to live in, so they just shuffle about and do things. And everything will be awesome and fantastic. And there can be much rejoicing. Yay! There we go. And now, uh, our town centre can reach all the way down here. It can reach up here nice and easily. We have space in the centre for whatever we want to do. We could put a big storage in there. We could put in, you know, the underground storage could happily sit in there. Uh, we could put... I don't know, powers or something, we anything, anything could go in there, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. Um, what we want to do instead is we want to get some gears going so that we can build large water storage because we're going to be pumping out a lot of areas for water. So we're going to need large, large water storage, um, a lot of large water storage because it's the quickest way. Uh, letting it evaporate is just so slow and we don't have any droughts, so it's going to be again slow. I do want to kind of block off this area here as well. Um, uh, so, so we'll kind of run up one side and then we can put power wheels in the side and have them spin nice and quickly and get some power going for us, which would be nice. So, let's get a gear workshop going. Uh, I could put power wheels over here like straight away, but I don't want to do it yet over here because I'm not exactly sure what's going to go where, when, and how. So, what we're going to do instead is we're just going to go with. Uh, I think we're going to do it up here. A lot of stuff is going to be moved around because we have a premium for space right now, so things are going to get moved around. So we'll put in a gear workshop here. Put in a small storage here. And we'll link this storage to say you are going to be for gears and gears alone. But don't store all the gears. Thank you very much. And then we need, for this, we need 120 horsepower, which is only three power wheels. You can get over two. We're going to do three, though. We're going to do three because it gives us a bit of excess power. Um, you can use it for other things as well, but I think for the minute we're just going to do three. Uh, normally it's a five to two. That works pretty well. You can do five power wheels to two um, workshops. So we could also do that, I suppose. Can we, can we build two workshops back, back to back? And then manage to fit five power wheels in. I don't have, I've not tried this way. The standard way normally is, uh, yeah, that's not the way. The one. Um, 
it is three. And then you have to go four and five, but that won't allow you to run a path in to get that center one. So not really, not really very well. You did it that way. Uh, I mean, I suppose what we could do, what we could do and would make a little bit more sense is if we went to build a path, thank you, up there, where that gets built, and then we go with uh, two of them with a gap. We do one there, one there, and we put four power wheels on the sides of them. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit slow. It's not going to be like a full speed because obviously that's only producing 200 power and they need 240. Uh, but I can't really get another wheel in there anywhere. Um, another wheel here would block the entrance for that, so. And I don't like it. I don't like it, so we're going to go with the generic. Generic way of doing things. My brain has forgotten how to get the five going. Oh, it's off the side, isn't it? It's off the side. You do four and five. Yeah. Yep. Yep, it's off the side. So we'll do We'll do this. All sorts of broken. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all kind of temporary anyway. Always make sure you build your inner stuff first before the others, otherwise the beavers get trapped. There we go, we'll build something like that. That looks really weird, but it'll work. It'll work, it's powered there and whatever. It's, it's awful, it's awful. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna get some gears. And then we're gonna unlock the large water tank. Um we're gonna build two of these, one either side of the town. Like this. So there we go. Boom. Boom. Right to here. There we, go. we have water stored here as well now, which is nice. And uh, basically, we're going to rely on pumping the water out. And when we get to another stage of pumping something out, we're going to turn these off and just rely on this doing its thing here. So, also, speaking of which, we need to plan the next area. So, let's. Plan. I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to go up to. Uh, not there. We need to go one away from the edge because we have this strip here that pulls in and we need it somewhere to go we're just going to come back and strip all this way uh, this is only a strength one it's not worth putting water wheels in it's very very weak uh, well, i think it's a strength one it's very it's very very weak the, the main flow is the much better way of doing things so so really we want to constrict the flow like down here and come out that would be not a terrible idea that would be not a terrible idea. Is, is English? English is not, maybe? Um, what if we did that? That's not a very large area. One, two, three, four, five. Large enough to put gardens in, but we'll... we'll We could always block this off as well and uh, stop this from flowing. Do something with it to cause it to like pour over the edge or do something with it. I don't know. Uh, the map has been slightly modified by me. If you download the map, you'll notice the front will be slightly different. Um, I just changed it up uh, to hide the the strips of water that comes inside there. Um, I did see on the last video the the original creator of this um, mentioned in the comments. Hello. Thank you very much for that. Um, this map is fantastic. I obviously have taken it and done kind of like a different change to it. I'm not I'm not particularly aiming for making this difficult. It's more We're going for a life of luxury, so we're kinda of playing on easy mode. But it's just more we'll get to golems and when we get to golems we want to see where the golems can take over all the jobs and our beavers can enjoy things. So we just need to basically claim back as much land as we possibly can. But maybe having the power wheels close by isn't such a bad idea. Having a strip of power wheels down either side. They look like paddle wheels. 
but maybe that won't be such a terrible idea actually. so yeah doing something like this and then letting the water escape but this is the next big project and we want to obviously Double platform, triple platform, I'm not going to triple platforms for this, but on. triple platform off there, and double platform all down here. Like that. Because the power wheels, the water wheels, need to sit on, on top of them, and they need to sit there. And we're going to run a line of power wheels down there, and then the water that is currently flowing around the edge, see here it's flowing along, it's flowing there will get channeled down these little strips down the side um, we could just make the strips all the way along and just get our power that way we're not gonna we're not gonna suffer we are not gonna suffer for when it comes to power there's eight there we go but that's what we're gonna do and then we'll, we'll power into here and we could always not even bother with levying this off um i kind of did this because I, I figured we might need more land for food uh, but we don't always have to levy it off we could just platform it and get the power uh, although we don't want to levy it because we also want to channel the water that places but then you can just levy one end and that forces the water into areas so but we'll 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 do it this way we'll do it this way I, I think kind of my plan is going to be essentially come from this corner of the arc this 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 bit here um, and come straight across and kind of just claim as much land as we possibly can we'll have strips of water flying through um, so the water doesn't get it doesn't flood over but we will claim as much land back as possible and we will make this our own so with that in mind we shall let this be built let all this be built we shall re-enable our planks oh, like that. Um, we have seven unemployed beavers and one baby, which means we only have eight beavers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. That's fine. So we have enough. I have turned off the uh, the, the grill because we run out of chestnut. So there's no point running the grill anymore. Um, we have got a couple of chestnut trees around. We are only chopping down that side of the trees at the moment. Once that's done, we'll chop down our maple again. So, so mega project. Next mega project is go. Hopefully this will have pumped out all the water by the time we get there and uh, everything can be really good and going and we can get rid of these and start putting something down here probably more food I'm not entirely sure I'm not sure which way we're going to go with that probably more we will see we will see but okay let us build what we're building this is going to take a while we're already 15 weeks in but um, our beavers are happy right now, so we'll just let them do what they gotta do. Okay, sun is setting and we have a problem. A couple of weeks gone by, we are building some things very, very slowly. Uh, we've used up all the trees on this side and now we're coming down trees here. Our water has run out in here, so we're building a stairway down. Everything is good and fantastic, but food is not. Food is a problem. Food it's a problem and I don't have the space to build more fun so I'm thinking maybe we go for the printing press maybe we get the paper mill not printing press sorry paper mill printing press is something different um, we go for the paper mill to get some paper and then we also unlock the beehive and uh, we can then increase our farm output I think that's a good idea. I think we're going to do that. We don't. Does mean um, I need to do this and need to put more power in, which is a bit of a problem. But it's all temporary. That's, that's what I keep telling myself. But it'll be fine. We don't have the actual beavers to do this, which is also a bit of a problem. So, uh, yeah. And. Um, uh, 
What have we got here? We've got 240. That is 80. That'll be 320. Be sick out. Be not fantastic, but better than what we're currently doing here. Um, let's let's rearrange this here. I've built all this. Build this, and we're gonna we're gonna bleed it, and we're gonna rearrange things and change some stuff up. We're done. Okay. I probably didn't need to delete that many things. That was a mistake. But uh, this this is kind of the way it goes with me. Uh, I I get things fairly wrong and break things and and then uh, destroy things, and it's fine. But um, I'm kind of showing it because uh, plan, plan. Don't just build. Plan. I am just building. This is bad. We'd always try and plan. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. There's six power wheels. How's that for the most dodgiest design you've ever seen in your life? Huh? That look good. Looks good to me. And again, we will just up the property of these two here. There you go. Boom. Right, and then we get we get a printing press going, which would be awesome. And then we can tell the beavers to not plant the center here and here. And we can unlock the beehive. And then the beehives can go in there. That seems like a rather good plan. Albeit really badly done because of this here. And we now we've got to rebuild stuff, but that's absolutely fine because we can always change this all down here be a much lower priority um, and I'm also going to tell the power to be the lowest priority so there you go. we'll build everything so we'll build this staircase in here first which is kind of more important anyway because then we can get down here and build more food and things so yeah that's the idea of building down to to the ground if we don't want to build down to the ground we'll just put platforms out we could do that we could put platforms out in many places and then just build strips of levees to force the water to go in places but I want to build um, like this here we're going to build this out here so that we can actually have a strip down here and a strip down here of power wheels running something in here I don't know what we're going to do in here yet it's quite thin I don't know I haven't really planned anything out this is going to evolve over time where it's just going to be hey we'll do this and eventually we'll just chop off an entire area when we have the mass resources there, we could plant more trees. Plant trees down there. Not a bad idea. Get a, a, a path going down and plant trees in there. Get some more trees going. Um, yeah. So I build this. We'll get things going. We will put in our things here, provided our beavers don't all die off. Hopefully they won't. They are going to start starving, which is going to be a bit of a problem. But I'm kind of hoping that the carrots can tide over at least some of the beavers. Obviously, they were getting chestnuts in as well for a long time, and now they're not. So bit of a problem but but we will see we will see we'll make these the highest priority so they build those first the second the paper mill kicked in and starts doing stuff we'll be good to go we need more planks planks are all being used down here for stuff so that's okay that's fine we'll do it we'll do it so we'll put these beehives in here and we will come back either when everyone's dead or when um, everyone's not dead so place your bets now, what's going to happen in the next chapter? Okay, so we're back and we have built our next pod, which uh, is being pumped out of water, which is quite nice and everything's fantastic. Uh, food is good, no one died. No one died. There may have been some people died of uh, um, hunger, didn't see any, but we're good. This is keeping up, this is fine. However, there's a problem and you can clearly see the problem here. And these aren't spinning. Uh, the water's not flowing down this gap at all. It's just absolutely dead. So that plan didn't work. Uh, <laughs> the water wants to come down here, which makes sense. Which makes sense. I did think it would hit this and be pushed down here slightly, but it's not. So I guess that's not going to work. When I'm looking at the fly water, it is definitely fast over here. It's not even very fast up against the edge, to be honest with you. So, yeah, not really sure what to do about that. I really thought I could get loads of power by doing it that way, 
but I guess we need to build out further. And it's going to be a real pain to build out. Um, because the town centre can reach quite a distance, but it can't reach all the way over to there. So we're going to have to have multiple town centres in this anyway. So, yeah, this is not going to work. I did build another another builder hut so that we could, uh, we could do things. So that's, um, that's not really... gonna help well that, that has helped but it's not it's no. um I might just block this off I might just block this off there's no there's no point in having it here this this is this is not not working it's not gonna do anything here there's no point to it we may as well just block off this end here and block off this end here and then claim the whole area as land and that'll be fine um, and I think we, we will then stop platforming uh, above things the problem is that the water is actually you'll see out here uh, the water is actually not at the bottom of the block it's um it's it's not just three if i put a three um a three platforms fine a three platform which is above it but a two platform is too deep the actual things get flooded that there you can see if we come off that is under the water so I can't go two. What I've been doing here is I've been putting two in and waiting for the water to drain down slightly and then these kick in and start pumping. So we're just over too high, which is an issue. So if we want to deck out, we basically need to, uh, if we're going to uh, platform the area, we need to do three high, which is fine and doable. Um, and we will probably do that because it makes more sense doing that than, than doing this and pumping the water out. We're only this for land and we're going to need more trees and more bits and pieces. So. So there's going to be a change of plan, and that change of plan is right here with these. Get rid of those. Yes, we don't want those anymore. We instead want to levy off the front here. Oh, there we go. Might as well levy off that there. And then we'll levy off the back, and we'll leave a two gap here for the water. We could just leave a one gap for the water. We might squeeze it out. We will. We'll squeeze it out. Trees I'm not all fussed about. We're using a lot of wood, but I'm not particularly worried about that so much. Uh, so with that like we'll, we'll let that get built. Um we'll remove the builder's hut and then water there. So then this line that comes down here just drops down and goes along one. It's just one deep. Um we could even put some pumps in there if we wanted to, although they're quite happy up there doing their thing. Uh this up here was mentioned about oh it's kind of wasted space, we don't do anything with it, and I should put stuff up there. Somebody mentioned a temple. Ernest. Ernest mentioned putting a temple up there. That's a fantastic idea, and I'm going to do that now. Uh, because we have the resources for it. Temples give us plus stupid amounts of uh, bonuses. Um, it's not stupid amounts. It's just a nice amount. But a temple gives us plus 25 working speed, which will just benefit everything everywhere. And one temple can cover a lot of beavers. So I think we're going to put a temple up here, but we can't. It's too... We can't. We can't put... It won't fit. It won't fit. So no, no, it won't fit. And it's got to be on the ground as well. You can't put it. Um, you can't put it on platform. So I couldn't even put it there. So the temple won't fit there. So we can't do that. Okay. Temple. We don't have space for them. I don't really want to be doing stuff down here for that. It's got to be on the ground. It can't be on platform. So it's got to be on the ground here. Uh, this I think is going to become a farm for us. We're gonna we're gonna put a farm in here. This is going to become trees. So we have even more trees chopped down. We're doing well for trees. I think we're mainly doing well for trees because we're not really building fast enough that's why i put in another builder's hut um i did pause all this here because we beavers are quite low um but yeah uh, also i could put two two layers of uh, um, sorry i've gone off on a weird tangent then uh, i could put two layers of platforms in and then use the double lodges because they have the door on the second level that would work pretty well for us, actually. We'll do that. We'll do that. Do that here. Could have done that here. Could have done that there already. Yeah, we're not going to. We're going to level this. We're going to take this. This is going to become another tree farm. In here. Uh, this is going to become food. Let's look at the food. How can we do food? So we want to make sure we're using the beehives. I think this is not big enough. I'd like to get four farms in here. So how about we extend this as well? How about we extend this? We make this even bigger. So we're going to do the most of it. So... We need to cut off this here as well. Damn. 
Do you know what? Do you know what? Let's 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 just plan the whole thing. Uh, this is going to get built over time. It's not going to get built uh, right now. Uh, oh, is that the furthest out you can go? Hold on. Hold on. Add the mouse over. Over this. Over the uh, the thing. So we want to go out that far. We're going to come out to there. Like that. <coughs> and then we'll come out over here, which means we're going to remove that one in the centre. I know, I'm just a. Uh, just a plan, it's just a plan to so remove that, remove that one in the centre there, because there's no point in that one in the centre. This will go out here, this will go out here, we can get rid of that one in the centre there, we won't do that yet. We don't have anything to pump water out. And then we'll have more space in here to put farms down this side, and we'll have access to the metal. So that seems like a good idea, we'll do that. So trees will go in here. Um, I'm not sure, I might plant chestnuts down here and also have some uh, gatherers as well, so we'll use it for wood and uh, gathering. Yeah, that makes sense. This is our primary sort of tree farm going on up here. Uh, so we'll do that there, we'll do uh, that down there, we'll put some more houses somewhere. And that's kind of the plan. We'll pump the water out in here and then we'll block that off. Rebuild this, block that off break down these, then these pumps can pump out more water. Not a problem. This has got to build here. I'm going to set all this out here to actually be in the lowest... Uh, the lowest priority. But they don't have to worry about building anything out there. Just yet, that's, that's low. This is all more important. And we've got a little gap there going down there. And then we'll probably do the same on the other side. We'll just square it off on the other side as well. But don't... Which means we probably want to go out on that. But we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it as we go. We will stages, 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 stages. And then we can actually get on to expand things. So that's the plan. And we will let our beefies build that. And then we will come back next time. And uh, we will figure it out from there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.